Miss Rogers, my child says the reason they have so many missing assignments in your class is because you're taking them out of the turn-in bin and throwing them in the trash. Why would I do that? My child says it's because you don't like them. No, no, that's not happening. <gasps> Oh, okay, so now you're calling my child a liar. All right, so first of all, you throw their assignments away, make them feel bad, make them fail, and now you're calling them a liar? Are you kidding? Are you? What is wrong with you? You're an adult. Do you hear? Miss Rogers, I'm so glad I called you. I want to have a quick conference about Kyle. Oh, I know school just ended, but I do have to get to an appointment. Oh, no, no worries. Just go ahead to your appointment. I'll be right here waiting when you get back. Well, it won't end until 5, so I'm going to go home after that. Well, what about tomorrow? Saturday? Yep, I'll be here tomorrow if you will. I'm sorry, I'm not available over the weekends. I don't see why we can't make that work. Do you not care about Kyle's grades? Miss Rogers, I, I know that Kyle stole the bathroom sink, okay? But it's really not his fault. There's so much going on at home, and the pandemic pressure is just getting to his little heart. I just, I really think that detention is a little bit excessive here. Don't you think? I need you to work with me. Miss Rogers, I'm going to need to see every single piece of material that you plan on giving my child. Um, and I'm going to need it at least a week before you give it to them so I can look over it. I just want to make sure you're not indoctrinating them or brainwashing them or anything like that. So I just, I need to check. Miss Rogers, I'm so sorry. I heard Connor was acting like a complete fool in your class the other day. I, I don't know where he gets it from. I'm so sorry. Do you have an Amazon wish list? Because I feel the need to apologize in some way. Miss Johnson, I'm not sure why you called this conference. Jessica's doing great. She has a 99 in the no, class. A 99 is not going to cut it, okay? We're looking at the Ivies. She needs to have perfect grades. So I came here to figure out what she needs to do to bump her up from a 99 to a 100. I don't understand. Kyle doesn't act this way at home. I'm just, I'm not understanding what would cause this behavior? Have you tried asking him why he's being this way? Miss Rogers, I have a bone to pick with you, okay? Why is my child's grade so low? Miss Smith, I've been trying to call you, but the number you gave has been disconnected. A phone is not the only way you can get in touch with me, okay? Yes, ma'am, but when I email you, those also bounce back. I've even tried sending home a note or a letter with your child. I don't know how else to no, contact no, no, you. No, no, okay? These just sound like a whole lot of excuses. And the fact of the matter is, my child is failing. And that looks like I'm not taking an active role in his education, and we are not having that. Miss Rogers, Hi, it's Ms. so Jones. nice to see you again. I'm so glad that Sarah has you this year. I know her sisters loved when you were their teacher. Have you started the Middle Ages unit yet? I know that was Jessica's favorite when she was in your class. Miss Rogers, I, I understand the policy for your class, okay? But I am also a teacher, so I just, it would be great if you could make an exception for Connor, you know, teacher to teacher kind of thing. Andrew did what now? Oh, okay, well, don't you worry. I'll be sure telling him that his birthday party next week, canceled. The sleepover the weekend after, canceled. The football game happening Friday, not happening. Maybe for everyone else, but for him, that's canceled. Hi, Miss Rogers. I was just bringing by some cupcakes for Sam's birthday. Figured I'd drop them off before the PTA meeting. But I did see your email about next week's optional mid-semester conferences, and I already put it on my calendar. So, see you then.